David's a professional blogger. Is anybody else a professional blogger here? Probably, like everybody. Yeah. Um, all right, you can say something as well if you'd like in a moment. Um, how I turn the blog into like what it is now. So I started by I started by recruiting everyone that I knew. So I made lists, you know, of people that I had known in grad school from my work in Africa, my friends, family, whatever. Um, put the project out there and started writing to them, you know, one by one. Never any mass emails or anything, just one by one. So I'd like, hey, Jaden, you know, here's what's going on with me. Check this thing out. If you'd like to be a part of it, um, you know, or if you'd like to share it with somebody else, that's great. If not, no problem. Um, so I start with that. Then, you know, a few people start reading the blog. And my advice to people who are thinking about, like, I want to start a blog, how do I get readers? Uh, my advice is always, like, when you get 10 readers, treat those 10 people like the 10 most important people in the world, because they are. Like, they are your readers, you know? And when you get 25, do the same thing, you know? So um, I wrote to other bloggers, I wrote to other authors. When people commented on the site, I would write them. Um, anyone who joined the email list for the first year and a half, I would send them a personal note. So I did that 10,000 times <laughs> over a year and a half. And uh, I think, like, cumulatively, that has an effect, you know? So I'm, so I'm growing the audience. And then the business side came about as um, people began to... I noticed that people were asking the same kind of questions over and over, the same kind of technical questions about, like, how I travel and around-the-world plane tickets and frequent flyer miles and things. And so, and then questions about self-employment and different micro-businesses and all that stuff. So, um, so I just decided, well, I'll create some resources, and I'll offer those to anybody who wants them and anybody who doesn't that's fine like please continue to read the blog for free you know so I wanted to go with like a 90 10 model where I do 90 percent of my work for free and then 10 percent is available for you know for pay for anybody who wants to do that mm -hmm. and um, so I guess in the beginning I just kind of I did that very slowly and carefully mm -hmm. um, it wasn't strategic it was very organic it was like let's listen to people and see what they want and then try to find a way to create something that responds to that need um, I didn't want to have advertising on the blog, and it's not because I think advertising is terrible or evil or anything. I just don't like the aesthetic of it. So I want I wanted to control like what the site looks like. So I didn't want like art of nonconformity sponsored by Miller Lite or whatever, you know. <laughs> so that's why I chose to like, kind of own that and develop my own stuff. And, um, and it's just been like a growth process, and one thing kind of leads to another. How about you? Wow. Um, so the start the blog started three and a half years ago, and within three months of the blog, and I, I create recipes and I do food photography. Um, within three months, I knew this is what I was gonna I wanted to do and build a business around it. So I was actually pretty strategic about it, and I made a post <coughs> made a um, vision board, cut stuff out of magazines and. Um, words, colors, images, anything that really called out to me, and that was my business plan. I mean, it was almost the size of the, it was a little bigger than this, but that was, that framed it, stuck on my wall, and that was my business plan. And, um, you know, in the world of food, it's pretty competitive. There's a lot of people that are doing a writing. I thought, you know, um, my strategy was to be truly, truly multimedia, and uh, you know, the blog, I'm on Twitter, I have a ton of followers on Twitter, um, what? I'm building one right now. Um, I started television, I started writing for newspaper, I started writing for magazine, I can do radio, I can do public speaking, so, but it, it was, you know, I started small, and grew up from there, and that, be, that was really a, a very successful approach, instead of just being solely online, was to, to be truly multimedia. That's great. So David.